quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that what we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention and take fewer lives. on this one coming now. Quick! Quiet and effective, see? You've seen this temple here. It's massive. Aye. I'm wondering if it's full of gold and jade and the like. Oh, silesh. That's to be, don't it? Where else would the Dagos get it? They're pulling it out of the ground, aren't they? Murder! Get him! Many thanks, but no forgiveness. He's off me. He ain't got nothing on us. They got perish. Here's Captain. It was a slaver who brought these soldiers. Lawrence thinks himself.
slave her name Prince. I'm told he is a letter of Mark. Is it out of kindness to do this or give? Out there. See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lawrence Prince, living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant, prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like the Cass's dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Aye. I'll show you. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> Then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. Now follow on. I have one last secret to share. How long have you been one of these assassins, eh? A couple of years now. I met Atabai in Spanish Town. And there was something about him I trusted. A sort of wisdom. Is all this his idea? His clan. No, sir. Assassins and Templars have been at war for thousands of years. All over the world. The natives of this new world had a philosophy like our creed for as long as they've been here. And when Europeans arrived, our group sort of matched up. Cultures and religions and languages keep folks divided. But there's something in the Assassin's Creed that crosses all boundaries. A fondness for life and liberty. Sounds a bit like Nassau, no? <laughs> Close, but not quite. Here we are. Take that stone you discovered from the Mayan Stella. 
and put it... That's one. A couple dozen more and you're in. What will this effort gain me? Respect for a start from the men and women you put in danger here. And if that ain't enough, there's a treasure behind that door. Something many centuries old. I reckon if you made the effort to find every last one of those, it'd be worth your while. So are you sailing back to NASA? When I have another contract there, right? But this is my home for now. Come. Um.